Hello viewers, uh, our topic for discussion today is uh, net factor income from abroad and uh, which is uh, uh, known as NFIA in uh, abbreviated form. Okay. So, as we all know, factor income represents the income or the earning received by the factors of production for rendering productive services. Right? Like uh, land, labor, capital, all these are called factors of production and uh, when we use them in the process of production, we pay them some money, some reward and that is called the factor income. Correct? And here, in this video, we will try to understand what is net factor income. What is the meaning of this word net? and the word that is abroad and what is NFIA, what are its uses, what are its components, all these things will be uh, covered in this particular video. So, let us proceed. So, to understand NFIA, we have to divide factor income into two parts that is factor income from abroad as you can see over here, factor income from abroad and factor income to abroad. Okay. So, what is the meaning of factor income? from abroad it is very important we have to very very uh, what uh, careful about this factor income from abroad as you can understand this word from abroad means income earned by the normal residents of a country from the rest of the world okay and all of you know what is the meaning of a normal resident because we discussed it in uh, our previous video when we are discussing that is uh, no, what is domestic territory and normal residence, we discuss the meaning of normal residence. So, any income earned by the normal residence of a country from the rest of the world. So, here this term is very very essential to understand. Rest of the world indicates or it represents outside the economic territory of a country. That means, if any if you take the example of India, suppose some of our Indian people, they are normal residents of India and they are earning some money from outside the economic territory of India. That means, they earn some money for their uh, productive services from rest of the world. Rest of the world means outside the economic territory of India. Okay. That is called factor income from abroad. Is it clear? So, factor income from abroad is the income earned by the normal residents of a country from rest of the world and what is the meaning of rest of the world? Rest of the world means outside the economic territory of country. Okay. Similarly, what is to abroad? To abroad represents income paid to the normal residents of other countries. Just uh, as the normal residents of a country earn, fact, uh, earn some money from uh, rest of the world and we calculate it as the factor income from abroad. Similarly, when normal residents of other countries, let us say normal residents of Japan or USA or uh, UK or uh, Russia, these people, they work in India and they earn some money within the economic territory of India means they are not the normal residents of India, they are the normal residents of other countries, but they are providing some productive services in our country and for which they are earning some money within our economic territory. Okay. That income that is received by such people Okay, those who are the normal residents of other countries and which we call non-residents means they are the non-residents of India. They are not the normal residents of India. They are called non-residents of India. Okay, and they are uh, doing some productive work. They are giving their factor services and for which they earn some money within our economic territory. Within our economic territory. And that income that they earn for their productive services is called factor income to abroad. That means, this income goes to foreign countries. Means, they will take this income and uh, to their respective countries. Right. So, in this way, factor income can be divided into one that is factor income from abroad and factor income to abroad. So, if you understand these two things, we can easily calculate what is NFIA. 
how we can calculate so here is the formula nfia represents or it is equal to factor income from abroad whatever income is earned from abroad by the factors of production minus factor income paid to the normal residents of other countries or non residents of a country that is called factor income to abroad so factor income from abroad minus factor income to abroad is called nfia okay now we'll move now we'll see what are the components of factor income from abroad nfia what are its components first component is you can see compensation of employees compensation of employees which is uh, uh, in short form it is known as coe okay and what does coe represent it represent or it includes wage and salary earned by employees okay so when uh, people or the labor that gives its uh, service to some productive work or in some kind of production work the money or the wage or salary the labor gets is called coe so if some of our workers are working in uh, uh, outside uh, territory of indian uh, outside of our economic territory and uh, they are earning some money as wage and salary that will be called coe okay so it is a part of factor income right second income from property and entrepreneurship which is called operating surplus remember these terms will be discussed in detail in our coming videos when we will be discussing calculation of national income by using different methods okay so here the second component of nfi is income from property and entrepreneurship which is also called operating surplus remember operating surplus it is a common term which is used for the income earned in the form of rent rent as you know it is the reward for using land if you are using land from somebody we have to pay rent for that interest means the payment made to uh, capital for its uh, productive services and what is dividend here you can see a new word dividend represents the uh, uh, when a company makes some profit okay the company what it does it gives a share of the profit to its shareholders because a company has many shareholders the shareholders they invest their money in the company and when the company makes some profit it is the duty of the responsibility of the company to uh, distribute or to give a part of the profit to the shareholders as per their shares okay or as per their percentage so that uh, share of the profit which a company gives to its shareholders is called dividend and lastly it is royalty what is the meaning of royalty you know when uh, suppose uh, uh, the government has got uh, control over many mines there are many mines like coal mines iron mines manganese mines bauxite mines when the government gives the right to some contractors to mine these raw materials mine these minerals from the earth and to do some kind of business it is the duty of these contractors to pay some money to the owner of these mines that is the government okay similarly if any person has got any kind of such mines or any kind of soft soil mineral deposits and it is giving that right to somebody to mine these minerals and to start a business and he is receiving some money from the contractor because he has given that right to the contractor to extract the minerals and to start off a business that money or that income that the owner of this mines get is called royalty okay so in this way these all rent interest dividend and royalty these are income earned from property and entrepreneurship which is called operating surplus and operating surplus is also a part of factor income thirdly retained earning which is called undistributed profit of resident companies abroad and foreign companies within the economic territory retained as you can understand the word retained means which is not given okay when a company makes some profit 
profit is divided into three shares okay right so when a company is making profit what does it do with the profit first it has to pay corporate tax to the government which is called a direct tax just as we pay income tax from our income similarly a company's income is or an, an industry's income is profit and when it makes a profit from the profit it has to give some uh, what money as uh, corporate tax or corporation tax business tax it is also called to the government so this is called the first part second the company has to give dividend as we have already discussed the company has to give dividend to the shareholders okay and after giving uh, dividend and after making the payment of corporate tax whatever is left with the company is called undistributed profit that means it is called retained earning that the company keeps it with itself now when any of our company suppose indian companies are what uh, there is a uh, located abroad and they are getting some such retained earning and some foreign companies are also working within uh, indian uh, suppose uh, domestic territory or within our economic territory and they also get some kind of retained earning so the difference between the profit undistributed profit or the retained earning earned by the resident companies abroad and the foreign companies within the domestic territory or economic territory is called net retained earning okay so in this way these are the three components of factor income so in case in uh, examination when you are getting or calculating national income in uh, uh, income method we will be discussing it later in detail so if you are not getting fact nfia it is not given somewhere and if you find these items are given in the question you can calculate nfia by using these three variables okay let us move so what is the use of nfia why we are discussing the meaning of nfia what are its components all these things so it is very very useful as you can see over here it is required for calculating national income from domestic income and vice versa so as you can see national income from domestic income so these are two different concepts national income and domestic income these are two clearly different concepts okay so domestic income represents the income which is earned within the domestic territory of a country but national income includes domestic income as well as nfia okay so that's why nfi is required here i have written national income is equal to domestic income plus nfi okay domestic income plus nfia if we add nfia with domestic income of a country we'll get national income of the country on the other hand if you want to calculate domestic income as you can understand it from the equation domestic income can be calculated by subtracting or by deducting nfia from national income so these are very two uh, simple equations you can easily remember you can easily, easily understand it that it is very useful or it is used to convert domestic income to national income and national income to domestic income so that is basically the use of nfia in national income right now these are some very very important things about uh, or notes you can say about nfia see nfia can be positive negative or zero by this time i think uh, you might have got the idea when nfia would be zero obviously when factor income from and to abroad are equal suppose you are getting factor income uh, from abroad 50 rupees and you are also making factor income to abroad 50 rupees that means you are earning 50 from abroad and you are giving 50 rupees to the uh, what uh, non residents of other countries that is in uh, to abroad so 50 minus 50 it becomes zero so in this way factor income net factor income can be zero and when can it be zero when factor income from abroad is equal to factor income paid to abroad okay secondly if income from abroad is more than income to abroad suppose you are getting 50 rupees from abroad and you are paying or you are uh, giving 30 rupees to abroad you are getting 50 from abroad and you are giving 30 to abroad then what is the difference 50 minus 30 it is 20 that is positive 
so in this case it will be positive third if you are getting less from abroad and paying more suppose you are getting 30 rupees that is you are getting 30 rupees from abroad as factor income and you are giving 50 rupees to abroad okay that means you are paying more and you are getting less in that case what will be the nfia 30 minus 50 30 minus 50 factor income from abroad is 30 minus factor income paid abroad is suppose 50 so 30 minus 50 it would be minus 20 so in that case nfi would be negative and again i would like to tell you here that whatever is the nfi given whether it is given positive or negative you when you are applying the formula you must not change the symbol okay you must not change the equation suppose nfi is given negative here domestic income is given and you have to calculate national income and nfi is given in negative suppose minus 20 right so what you need to do is national income is equal to domestic income write the figure whatever is given as domestic income or whatever you calculate as domestic income write it here plus you have to use this sign plus then make a bracket and within that bracket you can write minus whatever is the figure of nfia okay right and later on when we solve the equation the symbol will change the sign will change and you will correct you will calculate it correctly so that is basically to be uh, what uh, taken into consideration or you have to be very very careful while you are calculating national income or domestic income by using nfia okay because here students commit mistakes by what uh, by manipulating the symbols or signs okay so take care of this as you can see here net factor income to abroad is deducted from this is a very very important concept and you must remember it i have written it in a very different what you can see the color of this particular term net factor income to abroad this two is highlighted with red color why it is highlighted i am going to discuss net factor income to abroad is deducted from the domestic income to arrive at national income if in the question you see that net factor income to abroad is given instead of net factor income from abroad nfia actually represents net factor income from abroad if nfia directly given or it is written n net factor income from abroad you can use this formula okay these two formula you can use to calculate domestic income and national income if you are uh, you are getting this question in the question you say that net factor income to abroad is given instead of from abroad then you have to apply this formula to calculate national income or domestic income what you need to do that is net factor income to abroad is deducted from domestic income you can see here here we are adding nfia that is from abroad but when you see nfi to abroad is given domestic income minus nfi to abroad will give you national income i hope you understood it if net factor income to abroad is given to calculate national income you have to deduct nfi to abroad nfi to abroad or net factor income to abroad is to be deducted from domestic income to calculate national income similarly if you want to calculate domestic income what you need to do national income plus net factor income to abroad instead of deducting it here you have to add it okay so it all depends what is given in the question if in the question it is simply written nfia you have to understand it means net factor income from abroad okay if it is not given nfia it is given suppose net factor income to abroad then you have to be careful you have to use this formula to calculate domestic income or national income so that's all for today and we'll be learning uh, some more variables in the in our coming videos which are directly related with calculus of national income till then take care have a nice day